Fifteen stars you didn't know were banned from SNL. Milton Berle. Early TV star Milton Berle hosted SNL in April 1979. He was banished from the show after chronically overacting. Frank Zappa. After hosting in 1978, Frank Zappa was banned from the show after telling the audience he was using cue cards and outright mugging for the cameras. Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill appeared on the October 2, 1993 show. Their prospects for a return appearance were dashed when DJ Muggs fired up a joint on stage. Steven Seagal, action star Steven Seagal hosted the April 20, 1991 show. Lauren Michaels assessed him as quote the worst host ever. The Replacements, the musical guest on a 1986 SNL show, alt rock band The Replacements. Lived down to their reputation, they were so intoxicated that they repeated and forgot lyrics. Adrian Brody, while hosting the May 10th, 2003 show, he donned a dreadlocks wig and Rastafarian clothing. His improvised introduction of Jamaican reggae star Sean Paul included a rambling faux patois and botching of Paul's name. Robert Blake, former child actor and star of the television show Beretta, Robert Blake was far from the perfect host or guest. When he showed his displeasure with the scripts, Charles Grodin, actor and comedian Charles Grodin turned in an awkward performance on October 29, 1977. His first appearance on the show, he skipped rehearsals and improvised many of his lines. Some even speculate Grodin's clumsiness was attributed to the actor showing up drunk the day of the show. Sinead O'Connor, in 1992, Irish singer Sinead O'Connor sang Bob Marley's "War" a cappella. Without permission, she held up a photo of Pope John Paul II, ripped it up, and yelled, "Fight the real enemy!" Martin Lawrence. During this actor's monologue about female hygiene on the show, he became extremely filthy with his words, which led to most of the monologue being wiped after it aired live. He has also been banned from being on the show ever since. Elvis Costello. When Elvis Costello was set to perform on SNL in 1977, he was explicitly told to perform his new hit "Less Than Zero" instead of "Radio Radio," his politically charged anti-media song. A few seconds after playing "Less Than Zero," Costello began performing "Radio Radio" instead. Fear. During their performance, the band staged a massive riot, which amounted to $200,000 in damages. Louise Lasser. Louise Lasser was the first performer banned from SNL. She was in the grip of a drug abuse problem, and during rehearsal week, she crawled into various offices at Rockefeller Center.